Look, country, state, or county, Urias, uh, five weeks before your Eleanor's death. Ah, take the blasted wooden sword already! Why are we dueling again? I don't know, is it really important? I think you insulted Eleanor. That's not true. We were drunk. All I know is, I challenged you to a duel. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> don't be silly. Leave them be, I want to see them fight. To the fifth hit! All right, to the fifth hit. At last. <sighs> Yuck. As uh, Pammy says in Archer Splooge, or Sploosh, you can use the environment and blackguards to your advantage, but for example, you can try to lure your enemies to puddles of mud and make them slip and fall. Environmental elements like this are everywhere in the game. They're able to help or harm you, so keep your eyes open. That's, again, what the review said. So, which is probably one of the nice charms. I don't know how the hell I'm going to lure him there. It seems like the best thing to do... Oh, this is me best thing to do seems to be go whack him. Huh. Why is not whacking him a good idea? Let's just go there and wait. Because we're just going to the fifth hit anyway. Alright, obviously I've screwed this up somehow. Yeah, I got nothing but uh, base stuff. Uh, okay, out of that. <laughs> you actually look like a hero. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those years of training really paid off. A hero? That's the last thing I want to be. I was hoping you'd say that. We should do something naughty like we used to. Let's you know, screw, uh, Father Okadiki has no teeth left at all. We should take advantage of that. There's no hope for you, you know. Have you been to see Urias? He wants to talk to you. Yeah, let the Count wait. I'm enjoying the sun. One thing at a time. Aurelia? Who's Aurelia? Now I'm curious. No, enough talk. I'm going back to Nitha. I need to find out what happened. But you don't have to come with me. Why not? I've always wanted to see the bridge of St. Tyrone. <laughs> well, that explains it. Let's go. Uh, uh, now, nah, okay. Oh, never mind. Okay, I assume that since that was a fight, that it saved there. It did an auto save? Yeah, there's an auto save. So I'm gonna bail. Uh, I don't know. I'm having fun. So this is a world map. Here you can determine your party's path. Over the course of the story, you will unlock more and more locations you can travel to. A highlighted waypoint is accessible. The arrow indicates our current quest objective. Travel to Nitha now to find out more about Eleanor's death. I was trying to think if there was anything else I should tell you. And I can't think of anything else, so... So anyway, this is one more game I'm looking at. The only comment I would make is I think I paid 35 bucks for it, so... The uh, first review I read from GameSpot said it had uh, 40 hours, I think 40 hours, or maybe that's what's in Steam, says 40 hours. 
and uh, the review, the first review, which was kind of negative, it was, uh, they didn't like the miss and dodge and all that of the combat. They weren't thrilled with the melee combat. But and, but they did like that you could interact with, <laughs> like, falling down in the patch of rough grass. <laughs> oh, lordy. <coughs> v betrayed me, the thing that brought up the interactables. But anyway, they did, they liked that a lot. And they said it was for uh, hardcore tactical people, so. Uh, shoot, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, but anyway, they mentioned uh, playing all three different characters. So, you know, and that the second playthrough was probably better than the first. I imagine that's how much you... Uh, Depends on how much you've watched other people's videos to uh, min-max your first time through. So, all right, you all take care of yourselves. I will be back. We'll be having hot fun and doing good things. Howdy, hi everybody. Uh, I uh, really want to run off at least three videos before I put this up for a couple of different reasons. The most basic one is I'd really like to get into some uh, interesting territory here. Knock down. If one knocks you down, you're incapacitated for one turn, and hell, I don't know what else. <laughs> you gotta love quick load screens, though, so. And that's what God made freeze frame for. So, we're at uh, Neetha. Oh, we need to go up to here. And I guess we were all magically healed somehow. And the only ones with magic, uh, what was it, astral power or anything but ancestral, I guess. Anyway, let me shut the hell up and let's get rolling here. Oh, crud. Are you going to be a putz about this? I thought I... Yeah, race fighters shouldn't be in melee. Hello. Don't pick your nose and eat it where anybody can watch you. There's some really good pictures. Oh, I guess we weren't out of town yet. Okay, you can gear up in towns, rest to heal your wounds, or look for a new quest and information. Now, as far as I know, there are side quests. Uh, healers, treat your wounds and cure poison. The more... Uh, Roughed up your party is, the more you'll have to pay, blah, 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 of course. Innkeepers offer you a place to rest for a couple of silver coins. This restores all of your party's vitality points and astral points, but does not heal wounds or poison. So, inns and healers, separate issues, yeah, separate items, okay. Talk to the innkeeper, Miss Santi, to get more information. Click uh, her character to start the dialogue. Oh, there she is up there. Okay. Well, let's roll this troll. Come on. I'm tired of editing. <laughs> okay, evidently we have a blacksmith. We have a healer. Okay. And we have the uh, innkeeper. And I have no idea how much money we have. How much money do we have? Uh, we have five gold ducats. Ducats. No sailors. And uh, no farthings. Well... So what's up with the You'll need weapons in the wild south, and mine are the finest. Whoever saw a fat, uh, a fat blacksmith, that's like a oxymoron. He had a pudgy face, he's fat. Okay, uh, a large, he's a large man. Uh, merchants are... <laughs> Uh, there's a difference. Okay, merchants offer many useful items. Merchants' goods uh, are to the left. Your party's inventory is to the right. To buy an item, drag it from the merchant's tab to your party's inventory to sell an item. Drag it from your inventory to the merchant's tab. Uh, alternative, you can buy and sell items via shift left click. There will be no confirmation pop-up, however. Using the arrows above your party's inventory, you can change to the equipment menu uh, to compare equipped items to those available in the shop. Okay, nothing like slowing down the old plot. <laughs> now, I don't think we have, uh, yeah, we don't have anything. 
but we also can't afford, boy, we can't afford a toothpick, can we? Whoa, that's some serious stuff. Cause Lickian, <laughs> yeah, and no items. Okay, well, there's no point in being here. We're just, uh, that ain't happening. We're going to be rolling with what we have. Now, the healer's irrelevant because we've been magically healed. So, I'm thinking innkeeper. I don't think we can walk anywhere. Nah, we're not walking. Ah, not in the best of moods today. Not today, Donna Missenti. Trouble? You know, I've always got a bed for you. If okay. you've got a shiny silver coin for me. Well, never mind that. Any news? You could say that. Count Urias's daughter is dead. Murdered. Such a pretty girl. Wait, didn't you know her? <laughs> yeah, I uh, 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 murdered her. Yes, I knew her. No wonder your face is as long as a fiddle. Her murderer is to hang the day after tomorrow. Friars curse him. Princess Eleanor was always kind to us. Do you know anything about Lysander? The alchemist's son. They say you took a ship for the south yesterday. To Mang Beller, I believe. No wonder he wanted to get away from here. He was very close to Princess Elena, wasn't he? Where's Count Urias? He disappeared. No one knows where to. He didn't even stay for his daughter's funeral. Uh... See you someday, Donna Missanti. May Travia be with you. Maybe we should get some gear first. And a drink. Al Riccio. You? Shouldn't you be swinging from the gallows by now? I managed to escape, but now... But now? Now you're coming to me of all people. Some nerve you've got. I didn't kill Eleanor. Be that as it may. What do you want from me? Where's Aurelia? Is she in Nitha? No. Horatio says she disappeared. And you should do the same. And the princess? She's already in the tomb of the Calamars. They say the clerics had some trouble putting her body back together. Anything else? I need equipment. Yeah, we can't. Uh, wait. Those are ducats, right? Yeah, those are ducats, so... We can't buy a squat. And a 1-1, one, one, okay. Now, I accidentally used... It's got... It fell on the cutting room floor, but I accidentally... Oh, crap. Five for two? Son of a... Wow. Damn. We're just, uh... Holy crap. Uh, part of lost vitality is instantly regained. Uh, drag the potion to the character's belt slot to use it in combat. You can only use potions out of combat by dragging it onto a character. Wow. Uh, yeah, I had one, but I, I was trying to equip it, and whatever I clicked used it. So, good grief. We, there better be a lot of money somewhere. Damn. Provisions. What about provisions? For a rest in the wild, all vitality points in Astro will be destroyed, restored uh, when your partner you rests somewhere out of town. Uh, well, let's... Uh, yeah. And that's, that's kind of the end of the story there. Boy, howdy, I... Yeah, we're uh, not in good shape, are we? And now, let's head for the cemetery. Great uh, plan. We can dig ourselves a grave, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Cattle loves are barren. Okay, before you travel on, you should improve your skills. During the events of this story, your party will acquire adventure points. You can use these to level up your characters. Each improvement costs a certain amount of AP. Uh, click plus. You're kidding. What is all the... Why are you fooling around with me? Where in the hell is plus? Uh, 
Sir, oh, okay. To improve a skill by one, if you want to undo an improvement, click minus. You'll get a refund of the points you've just spent. The more proficient you want to become in a skill, the more adventure points you have to pay. You also uh, save your points to learn new blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Okay, so it's on the character sheet. Now what the, oh, that's cemetery, so I'm trying to think where character sheets are. I guess it'll tell me, won't it? Okay, let's, uh, wait a minute. I guess we ought to read this too. Character sheet holds all valuable information about a character. Click a character's portrait to switch between characters. Uh, most of this is really standard and some of it I'm not gonna have a grip on for a while so bear with me and we'll talk more about it later uh, describe mental and physical attributes describe mental and physical traits of the selected character here you can see how strong very blah 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 you are these attributes influence almost all your ratings vitality and astral power uh, combat yada 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 you hover over an attribute with your cursor. All ratings affected by this will be highlighted. I've, uh, we've done that at some point, unless it wound up on the cutting room floor. Okay, so two, whoa, why do I have 250 AP? Oh, because we can't afford a damn thing. Okay, well, let's see. Now, okay, vitality only influences vitality. You see that uh, little blue trident there okay courage does attack initiative resistance and magic dexterity range combat agility does a bunch of stuff speed initiative dodge parry attack but we don't have enough to do anything okay charisma I think is uh, affects how you turn out in dialogue and I may actually have to look at somebody's stuff to uh, I wonder if we would have done better if we told him we had been uh, freed. That did cry. That wasn't just a, a knee-jerk reaction. Okay, so we have 250 of these, and uh, we can raise charisma, which will affect none of these. We can uh, raise our vitality, which I think would help us uh, not get the stuff kicked out. Well, it doesn't say const. Well, constitution is not on there. Yeah, okay. Uh, weapon talents. Here you get a summary of your character's melee and ranged weapon talents. Uh, under the icons is a slider determining if you prefer an offensive or defensive stance with the chosen weapon. Woof. A high swords rating improves your attack rating. A high shield rating improves your chance to uh, parry. Is that, is that it? Okay, now these are going it's weird that, weird to me that these aren't separated because if you use them up here, you're not going to have them for your base values. All right, so evidently they're in uh, your weapons. Boy, and I have no, well, obviously, all right, it said, uh, something mentioned that uh, if you go with regular hunting bows, you get a bunch of special arrows you can use, like uh, the green archer or green arrow or whatever, the original green arrow. Oh, I'm thinking of green lantern. Yeah, I like the green arrow. Or crud, I can't remember the Marvel one. Hawkeye? But anyway, you have to invest points in each different special arrow. But if you use crossbows, you can pretty just pretty much just hammer stuff, so and you've got those points to use elsewhere. So I think doing the crossbow might be a good thing, but he doesn't have a crossbow, so I I don't know. That's a kinda widgy and wadgy. Okay, talents. Different uh, talents make survival in, in Aventura South considerably easier. Leveling up talents unlocks four different talent levels with thresholds at 8, 13, and 18. Each level grants new advantages. You can learn new talents at trainers you encounter during your travels. So trainers are very important. Okay, these are kind of in the mid-price range. Oh, crud. I may uh, get back to you with uh, which ones I decide to go with. This is a lot to read in the video. Uh, well, Streetwise is locked and Warcraft is locked. Uh, body control, small chance to resist knockdowns and negative environmental effects. Uh, well, 
what's the best on it? Very good chance to resist knockdowns and harmful environment. Uh, very good chance to ignore wound. Woo. Small chance to ignore wound. Perception. Hidden objects and traps up to level 3 at 16 hex radius. That's a, a probably important later on. Survival. Prices, passive prices for provisions are down. Uh, speed plus one for all wilderness battles in, uh, at level one, though, so, and prices and provisions are down. Uh, treat wounds. Now, the review said that wasn't all that good, so I don't know. Heals five vitality points. The top end of it heals 25. I don't know how you go without a healer over time, though. All right, animal lore. Now, it cost him 50 points. What does it cost somebody else? All right, wait, was it 50 on him? Yeah, it's 50 on him, and he's the hunter. But for the dwarf, it's 40, but it's locked. And for the mage, it's 40, and it's locked. Well, why is it 50 for him? Or is he going to the... Huh. That's a puzzler. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, what else? All right, this one's straight up traps. Traps can be disarmed, traps can be set. Uh, now, where was the other trap one? No, that wasn't it. Oh. Now, it's perceived traps. So you can see them, but you can't do anything about them. I wonder if you can see them with this. Huh. Well, I'm not really worried about traps yet. I'm not sure what to do with these 250 points, to tell you the truth. Now, uh, spells don't matter. Special abilities. Here you can find special moves and passive... Uh, and I mean, that they matter for the mage, but not for uh, me. Here you can find special moves and passive abilities. Special abilities are always active and don't need to be ranked up. Uh, many special abilities have other special abilities as perquisites. Uh, prerequisites, whichever. You can learn new special abilities from trainers. So, he has tar Hero's Next Shot does significantly higher damage. How much does it cost? Or does he just already have it? Hero is skilled at dodging enemy attacks and receives a small bonus on his dodge. So, does he have these? I guess so. Okay. Dwarf Power Blow, he has Vigilance. Better able to understand the situation on the battlefield. Uh, Hero is accustomed to wearing heavy armor. Hero is used to fighting with a shield. He gets an attack bonus of plus one as long as the shield is equipped. And what do we have? Range spell. Range of all spells increased by one. Now let's go back to spells on him. Spells basically work like talents, but are much more powerful and an important tactical advantage in combat. Each spell has four levels you can unlock during the game. With special, uh, the skills 8, 13, and 18, the thresholds. You can learn new spells from uh, tomes and uh, trainers, books and trainers. Okay, is there anything he can do? He can do Ignifaxius Burst of Flame. I mean, by second level fireball. Now, I think somebody mentioned it. Mostly, he's a fireballer at first. What's fastness of body? Armor rating plus two. Balm of healing. Ten hit points healing. Chance of success, 77. I... You know, I read that the healing's not a good way to go, but, uh... Corpo Fesso Aching Limbs. Agility minus five is a debuff for the bad guys. I don't know, it just really would make sense to me to him to be able to heal better. Well, I'm gonna do it. What the hell? Oh, what? Oh, does each one have his own? Okay. Missed that. Well, I'm going to go with the healing thing, right or wrong, so. Now, what was it? Plus? There we go. Okay, let's roll, trolls. We're just screwed on money. Increase your strength so value. Tombs. The tomb of the Calamals must be here somewhere. There's much to discover. Click one of the tombs to do some dungeoneering. The green waypoint lets you return to town. So where the... wait.
Which are you the green waypoint or? Ah, eh, we'll figure it out. Ha ha. So that's wait, that's the market square, that's the crossroads. Just a uh, crypt, a crypt, and a crypt. Well, we could go <laughs> crypt, crypt, crypt. Let's go to the crossroads first. Random encounter. Magic and metal. Metal armor repairs a magic user's ability to cast spells and prevents them from generating. Oh, impairs, impairs. Metal armor, bad for mages. Large objects on the battle map provide cover against arrows, bolts, and most spells. High objects provide more protection than medium objects. A lot like XCOM. Uh, range combat and casting is only possible if there is a proper line of sight. Large objects uh, of other characters block the line of sight. Or other characters block the line of sight. Oh, crud. I told you it was going to take a lot of Mountain Dew to get through this, and I don't have any more over here. 